Hey everyone, it's Man ZGI, and welcome back to more Let's Play Earthbound! In the last part, we got Jeff to join our party, and I was wandering around aimlessly, remembering what, trying to remember what to do, and then I found what we need to do, and now, um, um, we're going to talk to this eerie-looking tent thing. YORG! And it is the Boogie Tent! Booga, 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 booga. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think the main thing that I do in these... In this game, uh, in this playthrough, is make an ass out of myself. And I've always wondered, is that like another mouth in his mouth? That little line there, because I have a hard time seeing a tongue there. Oh God, now I can't see. Just I see like a mask over his face now. Weird. Okay, we're gonna fight the boogie tent here. I do believe he's weak to fire. It would make sense, right? Um, let's. Actually, let's show off the spy ability here. And by logic, um, by fair logic, I should say, um... Oh. Nice. Oh, wait. Okay, so, anyway. Yeah, that was your stats, and he is susceptible to fire, which is very nice. And I was just saying that, uh, by pure logic, Paula is the fastest, and, um, just by default. And she's the, uh, second highest leveled. So she's going to go first most of the time. And actually, I'm going to use um, the bottle rocket here. Just because it's a good idea to use a bottle rocket. And Ness is going to attack a pale green light. Ah! Oh yeah, he removes like like PSI um, stat boosts and everything. So um, if you have like a... Um, PSI, uh, offense alpha, um, offense, uh, or, yeah, offense up alpha or whatever, he removes those. And if you use defense down on him, too, he'll, he'll be like, ha you can't use it. So anyway, um, let's just take this guy out. Yeah, there he goes. He, yeah, easy peasy if you know what you're doing. And, yeah, he's, he's not that hard. And so, uh, Ness's level is now 23. Offense up by two, vitality up by one, uh, maximum HP up by ten. So yeah, that's not too bad. I wish he would have gotten a little more PP there. Jeff's level twelve now. Speed up went up by two, vitality went up by two. Wow, he's gonna get quite yeah twenty four HP. Sweet. He's now level thirteen. Well, that's nice. That was quite quite a couple of level ups there. And so now that we beat that. Um, these guys get all freaked out and run away because there's a trash can here. Um, oh, a jar of fly honey is inside. Okay, so what that jar of fly honey is is something that you actually want to hang on to for quite a while, actually. Uh, it's uh, Belch's most favorite food in the world. What's a Belch? However, it smells really, really nasty. We're talking major stinkage here. <laughs> Uh, I've always known what the jar of uh, fly honey was, so I never checked that, so. Um, I think I missed a text somewhere where that, that talks about who, like, where that is and what it is and everything. Maybe not. So anyway, um, so here, I think we need to talk to these guys again. And then come up with, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. So I'm just going to speed through this text real quick because I've already read all this. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that guy's thing changed, his text changes, just slightly. Okay, yeah, 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 Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, 2015, that's not really relevant anymore, because cartoons come on all the time. I do believe we walked around for a little bit. Um, let me see here. Dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Apple Kid calls. Um, it's called zombie pa paper. Uses to trap zombies. So how convenient that he invents something that we need. That's not a deus ex machina at all. Anyway. So, um, the, the log pizza delivery man is going to deliver us the zombie paper because he doesn't know what the escargot express is because he's not very social. Alright, so we walk around for a little bit. 
and um, pick up a magic butterfly. Alright, nice. Um, actually, let me check my stats here. We're not too weak. I suppose we could manage to... Oh, hello! While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He asked me to deliver this to someone named Ness, who was wandering around the reed. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Okay, that's convenient enough. Okay, so yeah, he pretends I'm Ness and he gives me the zombie paper. That's right, N Ness. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids thingamajig. Well, goodbye. And he runs away. He kind of looks like the photographer guy a little bit, now that I think about it. And I think that's the first time I've actually ever noticed that. So how much he looks like, um... The photographer. Okay, we come back in here, and I do believe... Who do we talk to again? Just save my life. You selfish prick. Um... I do believe we just, um... Go to sleep. I do believe that's all we have to do. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's all we need to do. Or, maybe not. Hold on. Let me just try one thing here. I always forget what to do here. No matter how many times I've played this game. Let's see here. Zombie paper. Use. Yeah, there we go. So now we come back. Or, we go through here. Or, head out. And then head to the hotel. Now it is safe to stay in here for whatever reason. And the music is fine again. But I'm going to withdraw a little bit of money because I'm low on money. But we're going to withdraw... Um, actually, I'm just going to withdraw about $400 just to have out. Um, there's no sense in withdrawing everything right now. There's no expensive items that we need that we can get. Um, $180! Anyway. So for whatever reason... No matter how far they are, these zombies are like, Ooh, there's something that smells really good. I better go into this tent and check it out. So apparently flies come from all over to fly into fly paper. Anyway. Um, so yeah, they're all going to go into the circus tent here. And even the zombie dogs do. And we're going to wake up. And apparently it's day out. Whatever. And this guy's out here. You're breaking hard, even though you're young. The guests' newspaper that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Boogie Tent Falls, young human to blame. <laughs> young human to blame, that's, that's rich. That's just awesome. Anyway, so now we're fully healed and everything, which is nice. And Paula still has more PP than Ness. But Ness still has more HP. So, we can go into um, the tent now, because everyone's all out here like, you might not understand my saying this, but poor zombies. Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. So, we go in here, and this mayor guy's sitting here. Um, those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. <clears throat> so, yeah, these two guys are still in here. You could talk to them. I'll blame you after my death. Anyway, now, I want to talk about something real quick, because you could talk to all these zombies and you get funny texts and everything, but one thing that I want to kind of talk about is that you see that some of these zombies are moving their legs, and other ones are, other zombies are just lying there still. If you talk to the ones that are, aren't moving, there's uh, usually no response. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's an equivalent to checking them, I guess, and they, um, they don't move, so that kind of implies I suppose by the logic of this game that those things are no longer conscious or no longer alive quote unquote I don't know yeah that's, so that's one of the things that you can um that you can kind of check out when at like at your own leisure or whatever you could read all those texts and get out of the way jeez anyway I'm gonna talk to this guy again and I'm gonna buy a couple more um I'm gonna buy another bottle rocket from him So one of the interesting things about um, those bottle rockets is that they're only intended for Jeff. So he And then he asks um, who's going to lug it around, which I always thought was kind of interesting. Okay, I'm going to buy a bomb, too. 
And I'm gonna give that to Paula. Um, no, I don't want anything else, actually. So, yeah, see ya. And I suppose, um... Yeah, I'm gonna head out, out of here now. I think I have enough, like, items and stuff to move into the next area. So I really want to get to the next area before, like, part 15. I think this is, like, part 14 or something like that. And I don't want to fight you. <laughs> no, thank you. Do not want... Those are more of those, um, garbage creatures. Those putrid, smelly things. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. I just fought them today, too. I am batch recording again. I think this is like the third recording in the row that I've done. And a ghost! And no matter what you do, um, a back, like, if your back is facing these ghosts or whatever, they, um, it always counts as a front attack. Which is fair. That's fair. I mean, come on. Um, let's just bash you for right now. I'm gonna spy on these guys to find out what they're weak against. Oh, nice. Thanks. Touch me with his icy hand. Okay, offense is eight. Um, okay, freeze and flash. I don't want to worry about flash. I'm just gonna use a freeze alpha on these guys. I always forget what these, some of these, like, lesser enemies are weak against. Usually I remember what the strong, like, the stronger boss enemies are weak against. Just out of sheer habit of remembering things like that. Okay, Jeff is level 14. Okay, yeah, I'm just mainly showing some of these fights off just for the sake of showing off Jeff and his abilities and stuff like that. And again, you know, like I was saying before, Jeff can't get smash attacks. Oh, great. Alright, um, new enemy here. You can f actually fight them in three before the, um, before you lay down the, the zombie paper in the tent. These are urban zombies. And actually, I do believe they are weak to um, fire, which is kind of nice. And actually, I'm going to show off a fire alpha here while I'm at it. Look at how powerful that is. Yeah, that one's down. I think uh, Ness's next attack is going to take this out. Yeah, look at that. 110 damage. That's pretty good. Those zombie dogs are a pain in the ass, too. You can open up these caskets, and there's... Ta-da! Skip Sanders Deluxe inside. Now, I do believe... Wow, another back attack from for me. All right, Jeff grew to level 15 now. Man, he's gaining levels like crazy now. Yeah, he's fine as long as you can keep him alive in the party and everything. Now, I do believe... Don't quote me on this. I do believe that the Skip Sanders Deluxe lasts longer and it heals for more. Yeah, 20 seconds instead of, like, 15 or whatever. And then it also boosts power. And actually, I'm going to use the regular skip sandwich here and give it to Paula because she could use a little bit of extra. Yeah, there we go. So, let's just zoom out of here because I, I don't really like um, this part of the game. It's just long and boring. <laughs> uh, maybe not boring. I mean, there's plenty of fights here. Anyway, cutting it here. Alright, no level up there, but I do need to heal here, so, um, let's see here. It's a croissant here that I had. Uh, Ness really took a beating there. Alright, 57, that should be good. Ta-da! Silver bracelet! Okay, actually, do I want to... Yeah, let's just give this to Ness for now. Actually, no, 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 uh, Ness doesn't need it. Um, I'm going to give it to Paula. Because um, Paula can use the extra defense. She's a lot weaker than Ness. So I'm going to give that to her. She's going to have equal equal defense and offense there for a while. Get away. Oh, I made it. I didn't think I was going to make it. Actually, hold on here. Just a second. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm going to heal up just... One more thing, because there is a boss that's coming. Uh, kind of like a mini boss or whatever. Okay, we maxed out. Okay, let's head up here. Yep, right here. Here's a boss. He's pretty much, like, unavoidable. <laughs> Since you had fly, honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Actually, you could have met this guy earlier, and yeah, but um, this uh, mini barf, disgusting. 
attacks us. So, um, I'm gonna open up with a rocking beta, because I don't really like fighting this thing. And I'm going to attack it with a freeze beta as well. Um, while I'm at it, um, uh, never mind, I'm just gonna shoot him. <laughs> shoot the damn thing. Okay, so he's not weak against beta. But he makes Ness cry. Actually, he makes everyone cry. Great! Ah, nuts. Okay, let's just use a uh, rocking alpha here, and then Paula, you can use. Actually, you can use the bomb, and Jeff can spy. I think he can still spy even though he's blind. Yes, he can. Okay, he is susceptible weak against um fire. I thought so. That's disgusting. Burp in my face. Who do you think you are? Let's um. Let's see here. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. let's try, actually, let's try to just attack him, and I'm going to use a uh, fire alpha here. Alright, cool. Nuts. Dude, seriously? Oh, wow, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's a trooper, I tell ya. Another fire alpha here. I do have that PSI caramel still. If I absolutely need it. Dude, quit barfing all over me, man. I don't appreciate it. Come on now. Um, let's just keep attacking here. There we go. Down he goes. Boom goes the dynamite. Wow. Look at all that experience points that, that experience he gave us. Paul is now level 20. Alright. Vitality went up by one. Good PP level up. I think so, that's good enough for me. Jeff is now level 16. Oh baby, Guts went up by 3. IQ went up by 2, that's good for me. Um, maximum HP went up by 3. Jeff is now level 17. So he's catching up pretty quick to um, Paula now. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I really don't like fighting that guy. Now this guy is kind of interesting. You have a long, tough road ahead of you, don't do you not? Do not. No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Okay, I don't normally take things from strangers, but thanks, buddy. Okay, so um, this guy sells calorie sticks for eighteen dollars. These are really good, a really good healing item. Uh, better than the croissant, actually. That's what I, you know, I think they heal for like 100 HP or something. And they're really good to stock up on. So, I'm going to end things off here. And when I resume, I'm going to stock up on, I'll, I'll be stocked up on these calorie sticks. So, I guess if you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Do whatever the hell you want. This has been Dynamite Man ZGI. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, y'all.